Despite living under a thin layer of tents in Shaba refugee camp, children began their school year with lots of enthusiasm and joy. But much like last year, the students are studying under makeshift and crowded classrooms. I live in Sardam camp. The school has opened and I am happy. I missed my teacher and I missed my friends. I came back and I saw my teacher and my friends. I was happy. I was in second grade and after the war, I came here and started going to school. I am in third grade. I came to see my teacher, I came to my friends, and I was happy. These students are just a few of the hundreds of thousands of people displaced from their homes by the Syrian civil war. According to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, more than 300,000 Kurdish people have been displaced in Syria's northern districts of Afrin and Azaz alone. Most of them now live in Shahba refugee camp near Afrin. Much like students, teachers here are also displaced refugees. They say conditions are rough and classrooms are overcrowded, and the heat makes it hard for students to focus. The teachers here are calling for help. We urge human rights organizations, organizations like UNICEF and those countries who do humanitarian help, we urge them, whatever help they can do including providing clothing for students, because winter is coming, and books and school supplies, chairs and tables. Send it to us, so we can distribute them in our camps and in our schools. This way, we can remedy a little bit of this harsh condition. There are an estimated 13,000 children from Afrin living in five camps and villages of Shahba region, and most of them are going to school despite the conditions here. The teachers say no matter how difficult it is to teach, education is key to those children's success, now more than ever. For Nero's ratio in Shahba refugee camp, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.